Hey, yo, what is going on, YouTube? What is going on, NSG Squad? Playoffs? Playoffs? That's something I wouldn't have said if I was still with the Jacksonville Jaguars. But enough of me throwing shots at the Jaguars. The 13-3 Kansas City Chiefs are playing against the 14-2 New England Patriots. We played the Kansas City Chiefs earlier this year, and we blew them out the water. We, we basically blew them out by, like, double digits. And you see the stats. We were eighth in the NFL in total offense and number one in the NFL in total defense and that is a huge part a huge part Ace Cannon was a, was a big part of why we're number one in total defense this year so you, looking at the stats right now I was second in the team in tackles I had 84 tackles this season 11 tackles for loss five sacks they might as well just sign me up a new contract and just keep me on the New England Patriots for a life because I will be the best safety in the NFL. I will be a dominant force. Uh, I only had two interceptions this season. But, but when you're on the same team as Darrell Revis, you'll kind of see how much of a ball hog Revis is, and he only lets, like, he only wants interception for himself. So that's why I only had two interceptions. But for the moment, you guys have been waiting for. It. Finally. The moment that the New England Patriots defense has been waiting for. A chance. A chance to try to stop the Kansas City Chiefs offense. The first play for the Kansas City Chiefs is a dump down to Jamal Charles who breaks off a few tackles and gains more than enough for the first down. Obviously, the name of the game is straight pressure. If we could get in the backfield to Alex Smith and disrupt their game plan, we will obviously leave here with the easy win. Easy win. But you see there, Alex Smith throwing another first down pass to Dwayne Bowe. And on the second and five, Alex Smith drops back and throws another pass to Dwayne Bowe for another first down. And at this moment, we are just trying to figure out how, how we're going to stop this passing game. You guys remember last time we played the Kansas City Chiefs? They do for over 300 yards. And there it goes. Gavin running down the sidelines. Gets shoved out of bounds by Devin McCurdy. But still... We gotta figure out a way to stop their passing game. So on first and goal, you see me read the pass and Ace Cannon jumps the route. Nothing but green grass in front of me show balling my way into the end zone. The swagger. Look at the road Revis. He's mad as shit right now. He's like, man, that was supposed to be my interception. Nope. That was my interception. I returned it for a 93-yard interception. It should have been a 99-yard interception. By the way, how much freaking yards I ran. My first ever pick six comes in one of the most important games of my career. And to return it, 93 yards for a touchdown. That is amazing. And I had to showboat. I had to showboat my way into the end zone, do a little dance, and trying to get the defense hyped, trying to put fear into the Kansas City Chiefs offensive eyes. Third and six, that was my zone. And another first down for the Kansas City Chiefs. Right now, Alex Smith is five for six for 76 yards. Second and eight. Trying to come with the blitz, but I was too late, and the Rob Rivers is there. For the INT, that makes two interceptions for our defense early, early in the first half. And we were able to drive all the way down the field and our offense was able to score. So right now the score is 16-0. Start of the second quarter, we have a demanding lead at home against the Kansas City Chiefs. What better way, what better way 
to start off the AFC Divisional Round. Second and three, the Kansas City Chiefs do complete the pass for the first down. Second and 11, Alex Smith drops back and finds Dwayne Bow again for a decent amount of yards. And they are just moving the ball down the field, moving it, and we cannot come up with answers to stop them. First and 10, another pass. And I tried to come with the hit stick, but I completely missed. I got blocked. <sighs> and there we go. There we go. Jeff Fisher knows it. He knows it. Anytime during the game, this team could get hot. The Kansas City Chiefs had one of the best passing offense in the league this year. Look what happens. They catch it in stride. They don't slow down, of course, and good things happen. Nice touchdown run. After the Kansas City Chiefs scored, our offense wasn't able to do anything. So with only a little bit left in the second half, you see me reach Jamal Charles in the backfield. And Jamal Charles has done nothing this game. Six for 13 yards. Six rushing attempts for 13 yards. So we were able to shut down Jamal Charles completely in the first half. But we cannot stop their passing offense. I admit. I admit, I take the blame for that. You can go ahead and write in the comments, that was my fault. Okay, yeah, so it is my fault. We still got the lead. We still have a two-point lead. The game isn't over yet. And we have enough time to go down the field to score before the half is over. But a crucial, crucial mistake by me. I saw, I tried to jump the slant route. And I left number 14 wide open into the end zone. And I was talking so much that here you go. Our offense was able to do nothing. And look at where the Kansas City Chiefs have the ball. They have more than enough time to go down the field and score again. Second and four. Alex Smith decides to take off and run. And that is nothing but clear daylight in front of him. Second and eight. Passing out to, to the out route for the first down. And Alex Smith has 224 yards in the first half. How are we going to stop this guy? I really don't know. First and goal, trying to jump it out to the flats. We are there. And the Kansas City Chiefs are running that no huddle offense, that hurry up offense with only eight seconds left. We're trying to stop them from getting into the end zone. And that was, they were literally inches short, inches, inches short from scoring again. So instead of it being a five point lead, it is only a one point lead. But they were, but they do get the ball back to start the first, the second half. And on second and ten, Alex Smith is being brought down into the backfield. Jamie Collins, his second sack of the game, and that's what we needed. We need to get back in the backfield and disrupt the timing of Alex Smith. Third and 19, we were able to stop them from reaching the first down, so we do get the ball back. So it's time for our offense to try, try to at least put some amounts of points on the board. I don't care if it's a touchdown or a field goal. We have to regain the lead back. What the fuck was that? Interception by Sean Smith for 28 yards. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you kidding me? Seriously? We threw an interception? Really? In our own territory? But after we threw the interception and the Kansas City Chiefs scored, we were able to lead the ball down the field and score a touchdown to tie the game. Not only did we score a touchdown, we went for the two-point conversion, and we made it. So the score is tied 24 to 24. A little bit left in the third quarter, a handout to Jamal Charles. Uh -uh. He ain't going nowhere. He not going nowhere. Look at the comparison. We've been able to rush the ball for almost close to 100 yards, while the Kansas City Chiefs hasn't even broke 50 yards yet this game. But the passing game for the Kansas City Chiefs has been killing us. Smith takes it from the Second and 11. Alex Smith drops back and throws to his man, and he is intercepted by Jason Verrett. Maybe that's not Jason Verrett. That is Major Wright. My apologies for getting the name mixed up, but the break that we finally lead, the break that we finally needed, I can't even speak right now. The break that we finally needed came at the right time. Major Wright caught the ball at his highest point. And here we go. Offense, offense, our, de our defense needs you to step up. The game is tied but of course they do not. 
with it being first and 10, another handoff to Jamal Charles, and he's only rushed for 12 yards. He's only rushed for 21 yards with 12 attempts. That is ridiculous. That is beyond, that is beyond from atrocious. Third and five, another handoff to Jamal Charles, and that, is, that was too easy. It's like the Kansas City Chiefs want us to win. So we went ahead and called this timeout. It's a tied game, 24 to 24. Let's see what our offense can do. Five yards by Jalen Brooks, and we had to punt away the ball. It was third and five, and instead of passing the ball, we tried to rush it with Jalen Brooks. Now, don't get me wrong. Jalen Brooks is an amazing running back, but we have to put the ball in the air at this moment in time. First and 10, the Kansas City Chiefs dump it down into the flash, and we were able to stop them for only a two-yard gain. It is second and eight. And with that flag on the play, it is a false start, so set them back five yards, so it will be second and 13. That gives us gives us a little bit of hope second and 13 Alex Smith drops back and finds his man for the first down not only does he get the first down he puts the Kansas City Chiefs in great field position to kick the field goal and on third and five a simple handoff to Jamal Charles we immediately called the timeout so that gives us 52 seconds left and in a tie game late in the fourth quarter, the Kansas City Chiefs line up to kick what it seems to be a 43-yard field goal, which is a chip shot for the Kansas City Chiefs kicker. So not only do they have a three-point lead, we only have a little bit of time to get down the field. And we are still rushing the ball when we have to throw the ball into the... Oh, man. Instead of passing the ball, we decided to run it, which I don't understand why. So the Kansas City Chiefs not only stopped us from scoring or tying the game, they stopped us from advancing into the AFC Conference Championship. So a 14-2 season where we led the NFL in defense, apparently our defense did not show up this game, nor did our passing game. The only reason why we put 24 points up on the board was because of my interception return and because of Jalen Brooks, the running back. Other than that, we couldn't do anything with our passing game. So the Kansas City Chiefs beat us by a score of 27 to 24. Right now, I'm just I'm speechless. I really am. This was an amazing season and for the season to go down the drains like it did at home. To have a bye week, to have home field advantage, and to have a team come in and just air the ball out on the number one defense in the NFL. It is crazy. But if you enjoyed the video, give the video a like. If you're new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe. Hopefully, we will have better luck next season as we will come back with the vengeance. But look at that, man. Just horrible stats by the QB. We weren't able to do anything, anything, anything through the air. Rob Gronkowski was our leader receiver with only six receptions and only 56 yards. Just nothing, man. Nothing. That's crazy.